Okay, problem five. Problem five, consider a ring of radius r with a total charge q spread uniformly over its perimeter. What is the potential difference between a point in the center of the ring and a point on its axis at a distance 15r from the center? Use any variable or symbol stated above. Along with the following is necessary, k. And then they explain to us that they're talking about point at 15r minus 0, where z uh, v0 is in the center. Okay, so I'm going to start by drawing a picture. So this picture is going to be a circle, or specifically a ring, with a radius of r. And then this will be 15r. So the center, 15r from the center. Okay. So we run up the formula. Voltage equals K Q over R. So that's just the general formula. So at 15R, we're going to have K, and then every point here, right here, this little section right there, is going to be the same distance all along the circle. So it'll be uniform. So we can use Q for the entire um, uh, for the entire ring. And we added up all of these, they will add up to a charge of Q, and they'll all be the same R distance away. So they'll all have the same contribution to voltage. Okay, so now we just need to find out what this R is going to be. So this R here is going to be 15 R squared plus R squared, which will give us 16 R squared. Then we need to square root that guy. Whoa, that's not going to give us 15 R squared. 15 R squared. There we go. I was like, wow, that's really convenient. So 15 squared, I think it's what, 225? 225. And then we're going to add 1 R squared to that, so it'll give us 226. So I'm going to do square root of 226. is like 15.03. I'll see the square root of 226. There we go. Or not. And that's this distance right there. And then we're going to subtract. Then we're going to have V naught, which is voltage right here. We're still going to have K, Q for all the charges. And then we're going to have 1r squared, 1r naught in the bottom. They're not squared, they're r naught. Uh, the reason we squared these guys is because we were finding a hypotenuse. So it's r naught, r naught, all right. So then, going back over here, we're going to have delta v equals k q, 1 over square root of 2, 2, 6, R naught minus one over one R naught. Okay. Uh, to simplify this a little bit, and there was an R naught on the bottom here. I just pulled it out because it's in both of them. Multiply this by square root two twenty six on the top of the bottom over two two six. Multiply one over one can be whatever we want over whatever we want. So the more formal way to write this would be K, I guess it's supposed to be big Q over R naught over square root of two 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 six minus two two six over two two six. This will give us a negative number. So it's saying with a negative number is we brought a particle from infinity and moved it to here, it would be easier to move it 
to this point up here, they would be to move it to that point down there. And that easier thing completely depends on if Q is going to be positive or negative. We don't know that yet. So and that's all they're looking for for this guy. And you can simplify this if you want to. Put in a Wolfram, make it a real answer. That'd be fine. All right, that's all there is to that one. On to the next.